Who could object to this? Well, yesterday at a conference, two women did. Their husbands restore muscle cars. They love muscle cars. Even the wives love muscle cars. So they're afraid their husband's hobbies are going to become obsolete and then what are they going to do because their husbands identify with these cars. So we need to acknowledge the problem and reframe it, even though it seems like a very small objection to a very good solution to a very large problem. And there are reasons for this and we're going to get to them later in the video and then I'm going to show you how I did it. You state the objection out loud. I hear you saying that you're concerned that your husband's collection of classic cars might become obsolete and then you reframe it. How about we solve global warming and we set up a museum in every county where people can bring their muscle cars, people can touch them and drive them, sort of like meetup events, which that crowd just loves anyway, but we put them in museum-like settings. So your husbands still get to touch their toys, uh, but we can solve global warming. How's that sound? Now, several reasons for this. Reason number one, if one person comes up with that objection and states it out loud, and we've seen it in global warming a thousand times, other people are going to internalize that and go, what about this? What about that? What about this? What about this? And the people who are serious, these are engineers, these are people with, you know, huge, huge risks that they're taking in their careers to help the greater good, to make sure that there's a world for their grandchildren. They haven't answered these questions. So this false narrative spreads because what about the, what about the husbands who are going to lose their hobbies? We reframed it. We gave the husbands something to do with their hobbies. It's no longer an objection. It doesn't have to be global warming. It can be something as simple as going from a four-lane highway through the middle of, of town to a two-lane road so that pedestrians can walk around. People will still object. You have to have answers to their objections, even if they seem small, because other people are going to take that and run with it if you do not solve the objections. So, what we do, uh, my partner and I solve global warming. We've invented a wind turbine that is 37 times more efficient than current models, which means that we can have enough power to, uh, on a house unit to power all your home needs, to power two electric vehicles, and the storage that you need for times that you don't have wind. Uh, side note, there's plenty of wind in America. So there are, it seems like there wouldn't be any objections to that because one of the things that the major, major problem for the uh, utilities, maintaining those power lines. Uh, you see it in Texas all the time. You've seen rolling blackouts in California, other places. If you have your own source of energy, you have what is known as a microgrid and microgrids keep power moving and with the coming age of the electric cars and you can object if you want to object to it i'll reframe it for you no worries but we are transitioning into electric cars over the next 10 to 15 years it's just going to happen but the current power grid can't handle it so our solution not only reduces pollution but it solves that problem uh, power companies cannot open new power plants in short periods of time. It takes 20 years on occasion to build a new pipeline, to build, uh, to get the permits for a new power plant. We can replace those natural gas and nuclear power plants, which are slowly becoming obsolete because of global warming. With our larger units, it's a win-win for everybody. We are four years into a startup. We know all the objections. 
people are concerned about the eagles because the current cycle of wind turbines is dangerous for eagles. Our wind turbine, not so much, because we have a different patented design that does not hit the eagles. So that objection is gone. Some people say it's too noisy. Our units have 75% less vibration. So there's less noise. There's less wear and tear on the parts. It's a win-win. There's always an answer, even to the questions you don't think are worthy to answer. Do it anyway. I'm Ron. I am an inventor mentor. I solve problems for engineers and translate engineer into English. Good luck and see you down the line.